This is my aunt Tracy McKenna, aged 35 years old, wife to Mark, mum to two young children, Dara and Katie, and a primary school teacher in Danamona Primary Fitna. She was diagnosed with AML leukemia and needs a stem cell transplant to survive. To be honest, it has not been an easy thing to share Tracy's story so publicly for any of us, especially for Tracy and Mark. It has very much highlighted, yet again, the seriousness of Tracy's situation and the desperation of other families like us who need a stem cell donor to save their loved one's life. However, we are very determined to raise awareness of the need for stem cell donors and get people to join the register. As a family, we are overwhelmed by the situation Tracy is in. We can't begin to imagine how she must feel. It is so sore on her wee kids not seeing mummy for six or more weeks at a time for each round of chemotherapy. Tracy got these pillows as a Valentine's gift for her kids so they could hug her when they miss her. They take them to bed every night. Two children who can't understand why their mummy has been ripped away from them. Two children who are in home without their mummy looking after them and who is not putting them to bed at night. Tracy's treatment has been quite critical and we feel helpless. Helpless seeing Tracy go through chemotherapy and be horrendously ill with it. Helpless that she's had so many complications along the way and we can't take away her pain, despair, panic and fear. Helpless that none of us are a suitable enough match for our baby sister and that we are relying on the kindness of a stranger to save our sister's life and the mummy of two small children, Katie and Dara. Cancer is a disease that has taken so much away from us already. There are very few families that have not been affected by some form of cancer. We depend on the research of scientists to make discoveries and medical staff to give the best treatment possible to cure cancer. However, we can also do something as human beings to help fight cancer. We can register as a stem cell donor to save lives. This is in our power and it is the greatest gift you can give to anyone. Currently, a lot of donors for patients in UK come from young men abroad. We are blown away by this, that young men at age 17 and up are, go are doing such a kind act for a complete stranger. It is a very mature thing to do. Only 7% of the UK population are stem cell owners. The process of donating in most cases is very similar to just giving blood. Last Friday night we attended the City Hall to tell Tracy's story at the DKMS event. We met some very inspirational people like Connor here who is 11 years old from Ballycastle who received a stem cell transplant when he was a toddler. This is Louise, a double donor, who donated to a girl who was 14 years old and then again when she turned 18, she said it was the most wonderful thing to do and gives her great pride in knowing that she helped save someone's life. This is Anne from Newry, whose 16 year old son has recently received a stem cell transplant. He was diagnosed with leukemia when he was only 14 years old. It isn't until you know someone in these circumstances can you really comprehend the importance of being on a stem cell register and giving blood to help save lives. We live in a community full of kind and caring people. We believe we just need to spread the word to get people to get on board. We urge all who are eligible to become stem cell donors to do it.